Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we will gonna discuss Spring Boot Task Scheduler. Okay, so if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side. Okay, so let's begin. So uh, what exactly a task scheduler first we need to know. Then we will gonna see how we can develop a task scheduler using Spring Boot. Okay. Uh, so the scheduler is a the scheduler is used to schedule a task that executes at a certain period of time or periodically at a fixed interval time. Okay. So suppose some task is there and you want to execute the task at a fixed interval of time or at a certain period of time okay so that time we can go for schedulers for real time implementation if you will if you'll say then for example uh, you want to send a bill notifications or uh, that bill email notifications to uh, all those users okay at the end of the month or at a certain date of a month you want to uh, send that bill invoices to all those customers okay so this is a one use case and uh, another use case may be suppose if you have an insurance domain and uh, uh, each day a scheduler will be there which will run at a certain period of time of each day and it will check uh, whose insurance premium is not paid yet and it will send a reminder to them or, or whatever or send a email whatnot okay so this kind of uh, use cases uh, in the in those use cases we can use uh, schedulers okay so you can say cache the refresh implementation as well if you, are, you have if you have some uh, custom uh, cache so each day we need to refresh at the start of the day okay so in those use cases we can use uh, these schedulers okay now let's see how we can uh, how we can uh, develop a up Spring Boot application uh, for schedulers. Okay, so we can generate a Spring Boot application uh, from IDE as well as from Spring Boot Initializer. So just now I have uh, generated this project uh, from the Spring Boot Initializer. Okay, and I have imported to my IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so this is the project already I have imported. Uh, let me go through this one. So this is the pom.xml of that uh, project, and here, uh, if you if you'll see Spring Boot only starter dependency is there. Apart from that one, nothing is there. Okay. Now let's uh, develop a scheduler. So let's go to here. So task scheduler Spring Boot application. This is the main annotation it's uh, annotated okay now let me uh, create a package task dot okay a scheduler package i have created first let's have that uh, a class task let's see task scheduler okay then what we need to do uh, first let me define this one as a component so that spring can identify uh, this class as a bean then any logic we want to invoke for example a public void invoke task so this is some dummy uh, method i am creating to invoke and let me put over here a annotation named as schedule as the schedule and how we want to execute this method how many times or uh, in the in which way we want to execute 
so those things we can found over here so this is the cron expression if you want to uh, run this uh, specific method uh, you can use cron expression as well fixed delay and fixed delay string and fixed rate and uh, other stuffs are also there so for demonstration purpose let me take a fixed rate so this what exactly this fixed rate will do it will execute the task execute this uh, method at a fixed rate so let me take as a 3000 so this is the millisecond and this down dot out dot print ln task executing executing okay so let me uh, run this application okay before running this application again we need to here put another annotation known as at the red enable scheduling okay so control s so all done what are the logic uh, you want to execute those law or those all logic you can put over here and it will gonna run now uh, let's run okay before running uh, let me put server dot port server dot port is equal to uh, 7070 I am putting okay now let's run this application and we'll gonna see uh, for each let me running this one right click and after each three second that method will gonna invoke okay okay so let me clear all after each three second just see task executing task executing so after three second this task executing is printing okay that means our task scheduler this invoke task is invoking after each three seconds so this fixed rate indicates after each three second it will gonna uh, execute this one okay so at a fixed rate of three second it will execute this method okay so hope you got it that how we can implement a task scheduler in spring boot application and there are a lot of other options as well there so uh, that cron expression you can provide and the time zone also you can provide over here and other options are also there okay you can explore these options as well based on your your requirement you can uh, take uh, those things as well okay so hope you got a crystal clear picture and uh, i will appreciate your comment in the comment section and let me know uh, what else other topics you want me to upload those videos okay and definitely i will try to upload those videos as well okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day